In a recent podcast episode, Joe Rogan is going to defend his use of the word grooming as it relates to LGBTQ plus teachers. So he's going to claim that it's really important that him and his right wing buddies continue to use this specific terminology because, I mean, what if an LGBTQ plus teacher does want to groom children? What if somebody uses the LGBTQ plus moniker to get close to your kids and groom them? Now, everything that he says here is deeply rooted in homophobia, but nevertheless, he thinks that really this is about protecting children and that's all that this is about. There's no way that the don't say gay law can be too purposefully vague and end up discriminating against gay people and force them back into the closet. It's like he's going to miss all of that and claim, mm, really, I care about children. But I'm going to explain to you why this is an incredibly disingenuous argument when we come back because of the elephant in the room that he's leaving out. Take a look. How do you feel about education? I think it's critical. It's very important. Yeah. How do you feel about indoctrination by people that are educators? I don't like that at all. There's just two diff very different things. Right. And if you want to tell me that they're the same thing, I say, you right because they're not because there's a lot of crazy people that wind up being teachers someone said to me that um or read this uh not all you know, the term groomer a lot of people don't like that term online they're very upset yeah, yeah. but they're real right. there are groomers you you don't like it do you not like it because you don't want children to be groomed or do you not like it because it's a pejorative that's used against the left which is, I think, more likely. Yeah. But here's what's more important. Not have people groom your fucking kids. <laughs> That's what's more important than you getting uncomfortable with this word because it's used by people on the right. Like I saw someone as an argument, someone who I think is an intelligent person, say that there should be a block against using the word groomer. Unbelievable. No. No, there should be no groomers. How right. about that? And this is what they wrote. They said, not all teachers are groomers, but a lot of groomers are teachers. There you go. And that's real. Yeah. That's a real fucking problem. I mean, constantly teachers are getting arrested for exposing themselves to children, for masturbating in front of children, for sending nude pictures in front of children. Every couple days there's a new one that pops up in the news. And how many of those people haven't been caught yet? And how many of those people are out there? And how many of those people are doing it under the guise of I'm an LBGTQ uh, uh, educator and- I'm, I'm you know, keeping a tally of the amount of hate mail that you're well, going to be getting. Well, good luck, I don't read it. <laughs> I, it's the. There's people that are good people in all walks of life, trans people, yeah. gay people, straight people, bisexual, whatever the f you are. There's good people in all walks of life. There's also pieces of shit that will use those labels in order to get closer to groups of people and indoctrinate them and indoctrinate them for their own sexual pleasure. And that's real. So you don't like uh, kindergarten teachers talking about uh, gender identity? Well, I think your... it's important, and I think everyone should know it. I think it's like that's why that whole uh, the what they were calling the "Don't Say Gay" bill yeah. in Florida was so infuriating. Yeah, like when you're saying that you're you you oppose any sort of legislation that prevents people from talking about sex and gender identity and sexual orientation with people that are first grade through third grade you oppose anything that restricts that I go okay w w who are you talking about because if this is open-ended I've had some f idiots for teachers when I grew up can you imagine if those f idiots were trying to convince your child that they should be homosexual or that they should even be straight Imagine if you have a kid that's gay. Never mind you have convincing. A, but, How about just but don't address, don't, right. don't talk don't. about this issue. But that's my point. My yeah. point is, imagine if you have a gay child and you have a f teacher that's trying to indoctrinate your child into the world of heterosexuality and convince your child that they're going to burn in hell right. if that child is gay. Imagine how furious you would be. Right. Well, it works the other way too. Right. Right? It does. It works the other way. There's... You should be really good to be able to talk, really good at what you do. If you want to talk to a f seven year old about gender identity and sex, and we, I've seen some of these people with lip rings and yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. blue hair. They clearly are ideologically bound. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the way they live their life. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them pursuing whatever sexual identity they have and living their life. But I'm saying you should not be the person that talks to children about this, yeah. especially if you're a fucking history teacher. <laughs> yeah, and you're the last person, Joe Rogan, who should be talking about vaccines, given how misinformed you are, but 
you couldn't shut up about that for like a year. So, you know, some people just won't stay in their lanes. So it's ironic for you to make that point. But he's going to claim that indoctrination is bad. No disagreement there. We have common ground, actually. Uh, the problem is that he's not being honest about who does the indoctrination. It's not LGBTQ plus people who are indoctrinating your children. It's the right. I mean, from as young as I could remember, I had religion pumped into my brain and it made me absolutely miserable. So if you care about children and you're talking about indoctrination, it's really dishonest of you to conveniently leave out your right wing buddies and how much they love religion and how at a very young age they pump religion into the brains of children. But yet you claim that LGBTQ plus people might want to indoctrinate your children. But that's not something that can happen. It doesn't happen. And that's because it's literally impossible because you don't choose to be gay or transgender. You can't choose your sexual orientation. You don't choose to have gender dysphoria. And if it were a choice, I'd argue that because society is not accepting of LGBTQ people, I mean, it's, it's improving, right? But because society is still you know, stigmatizes these groups, most people would choose to not be gay or transgender if they had that choice, but it's not a choice. But really what this is about is LGBTQ plus teachers uh, not indoctrinating children, but instilling values into children. I mean, teachers are going to instill values in kids. When I was in kindergarten, I remember my teacher telling me about sharing and how it's based. Uh, so if a kid uh, asks about the photograph on their teacher's desk and it's you know it features two guys and that teacher explains well this is my partner this is my spouse and that teacher instills respect and acceptance into that child that's a good thing that's just teaching that kid to be a good person to be loving and accepting it's not grooming that kid but the don't say gay bill is so purposefully vague that it doesn't just rule out sexual discussions which people aren't advocating for in grades k through three it basically makes it so that way these teachers have to pretend as if gay and trans people don't exist so as to not break the law it's forcing people back into the closet so if a kid sees her teacher at the store and she's with her same-sex partner then she could say who was that you were with was that your friend and then if the teacher answers honestly and says that was my wife that teacher could be fired under this law. We don't know what the parameters are. It's purposefully vague so as to scare teachers back into the closet. And that's what Joe Rogan refuses to acknowledge. Now, he also says here that the term groomer, a lot of people don't like that term online. They're very upset, but they're real. There are groomers. Nobody's denying this. Nobody's denying the existence of groomers. And we also think that grooming is indeed bad. Of course, sexually grooming children is bad. The problem is that telling a kid that gay people exist in an age-appropriate way is not tantamount to sexually grooming a kid. If you believe that, then you also have to believe that if uh, two parents, a mommy and a daddy, kiss in front of their kids, then they're also sexually grooming their kid. But nobody would say that. They would say, oh, well, that's actually really lovely because you're showing that kid what a loving relationship looks like. But... If it's a gay couple that kisses in front of kids, all of a sudden, it's a different story. See, it's a double standard. That's grooming, but when straight people do it, it's not grooming. And this is all deeply rooted in homophobia. You know, if a kid sees that gay people exist or trans people exist, they're going to think it's so amazing. They're going to be lured into it, and they're going to want to try it. Not how it works. Not how it works at all. He also says that, um, do, do people not like it because it's a pejorative used against the left? He asks this question, and I love that he just admits that it's a pejorative now used against the left. So, I mean, that's if you're making the case for this word, I think that you should probably define it first of all. But he goes on to say, here's what's more important. Not have people groom your kids. I mean, yeah, these aren't mutually exclusive. You can be against the incorrect use of the word grooming and also be against literal grooming. I mean, can you find very many people who would just be like, yeah, I think that grooming is good. I don't think I've ever met anyone who has this view, at least publicly anyways, because that would be absurd. Reasonable people are against adults sexually grooming children. That's predatory. That's gross. Nobody wants that. But you're claiming that the people against the don't say gay bill or at least implying that they want to groom children sexually. And that's why they're against the Don't Say Gay bill, because it stops them from grooming children. But that's not the case. This bill, 
Now law, it creates a solution for a problem that does not exist. The goal is to put teachers back into the closet if they're LGBTQ. Because if they do teach uh, these children that, yeah, I have a same-sex partner, yeah, I'm non-binary, yeah, I'm transgender, then that kid might think, oh, well, I guess that's not bad because I have a teacher who's lovely who's non-binary. And they don't want that. They don't want society to accept gay people, non-binary people. So they're the ones doing the indoctrination because they don't want people to accept individuals who are different. That's what this is about. It stems from homophobia and transphobia. It's deeply anti-LGBTQ+. But Joe Rogan is deluded enough to think that Republicans actually care about children. Is that so? If you care about uh, children, Joe Rogan, why do you not talk about the grooming that we see in, in the Catholic Church? I mean, how many evangelicals are Catholics? I mean, is that not part of your political wing now? Catholics and the sex abuse scandal, grooming children. They're the ones literally indoctrinating children into a religion and grooming them. And yet, you're talking about LGBTQ plus people as if they're the predators. No, that's not the case. So you're lying. You're being dishonest and you're lying through admission, Joe Rogan. Everything that he's saying stems from the homophobic belief that being gay is a choice. It stems from this belief that gay people are predators and they want to prey on your children. So really, you should keep them away from your children. And it's all homophobic. He might not think that he's homophobic because he believes that gay people should have equal rights. But the things that he believes are the product of homophobia. And now he's taking the homophobic values instilled in him and he's spreading it to his audience of 11 million people. So they now think, well, yeah, I guess that gay people can turn people gay and maybe we should stop them from grooming kids when that's not happening. It's just, it's, uh, it's so ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, so he says, there should be no groomers. How about that? Sure. I don't know how you, you eliminate groomers, but I'm with you if you can figure it out. Absolutely, we should not have grooming, for sure. But telling kids that gay people exist is not grooming. That's the thing that he needs to acknowledge. He adds, um, not all teachers are groomers, but a lot of groomers are teachers, and that's real. That's a real problem. I mean, constantly, teachers are getting arrested for exposing themselves to children and all this. Um, okay, you're making a generalization about teachers that is unfounded, it's not backed up by data, and you're implying that these things that teachers have been caught doing, that some teachers have been caught doing, is something that the left approves of. Do you honestly think that you're going to tell the left this and they're going to they're gonna say, oh, well, we want teachers to be able to do that? Nobody wants this to happen to kids, Joe. You're talking about all of these horrible things that teachers have done as if the left and LGBTQ plus people think that they're good. No, we don't think that they're good. No, we don't want teachers to sexually abuse children, Joe. We shouldn't have to say it. But the don't say gay bill conflates kids knowing about the existence of LGBTQ plus people with actual grooming and abuse of children. And that's bigoted. That's homophobic. That's transphobic. But you're okay with that. Also, he says, and how many of those people are doing it under the guise of I'm an LGBTQ educator? So um, that right there is the worst part because he's tacitly admitting that he believes in the gay predator myth. He believes that, um, you know, gay people actually want to prey on your children. Well, I mean, uh, if we wanted to really generalize, more straight men abuse children. So... Can we just claim that, you know, you're more of a threat to children than gay men, Joe? No, nobody's saying that because that would be preposterous. Because bad things happen, that doesn't automatically denote general applicability if somebody from a marginalized community or even not in a marginalized community does it. But Joe Rogan, he doesn't like understand this. He is duped by the Republicans who... Pretend as if this is about protecting kids when really this is about demonizing LGBTQ plus people. Nobody's saying that you should teach uh, gay sex to children in grades K through three. Nobody is saying that or advocating for that. But notice how he ends up contradicting himself. So he takes issue with the moniker don't say gay because that's not actually an appropriate label. And then Gadsad says, uh, well, never mind convincing. How about you just don't talk about this issue? And then he says, that's my point. So don't say gay. You don't like that um, 
They're talking about this issue, but you don't like that it's called don't say gay. You're literally saying that they shouldn't talk about gay issues. And when I say gay issues, again, I'm referring to age appropriate conversations. If Sally notices that her classmate Steve has two mommies, then the teacher can explain that in an elementary way. She doesn't have to explain, well, yeah, those are two lesbians, and this is what they do in the bedroom. Like, that's not what we're saying. But Joe Rogan, like, he's so dense, he can't get it through his thick skull that these types of conversations come up for gay people in the same way that they come up for, you know, straight people. Just like a kid with a mommy and a daddy might see a kid with just a mommy, maybe the parents will have to have that conversation. You know, some, some you know, kids only have one parent. Some kids have two same-sex parents. Like, these are conversations that will come up because as kids, they ask questions, they're curious. But the Don't Say Gay Bill says, mm, can't acknowledge the existence of any LGBTQ plus people because we don't want to turn these kids gay. Because if they learn about it, they're going to turn gay like that. That's how it works, definitely. It's like a magical spell, almost. I mean, be for real. Be real. Uh, he also said, my point is, imagine if you have a gay child and you have a fucking teacher that's trying to indoctrinate your child into the world of heterosexuality. Okay, interesting. Uh, and convince your child that they are going to burn in hell if that child is gay. Imagine how furious you would be. Well, it works the other way, too. Um, except which one of those things happens all the time and then which one of those things happens never. I mean, are, are you serious? How often do we see gay people proselytizing and, and telling kids, well, this is why you should be gay. Let me sell it to you. Here's my pitch. That's not happening. It's not fucking happening. But you pretend as if it's happening. And then you claim, oh, well, you don't like how we indoctrinate kids into religion and teach them that being gay is bad and they're going to burn in hell. So you wouldn't like if the opposite were true. But it's not happening. The opposite is not happening. Can you cite one example, even an anecdote, of a gay person selling homosexuality to children in particular? Telling kids, hey kids, here's why you should be gay. You can't. It's not happening. So, I mean, Joe Rogan is saying all of this because he believes the homophobic lies that he was probably fed uh, growing up. And even though he thinks that he's in support of LGBTQ plus rights now, which he's explicitly anti-trans to be clear, but like, even though he thinks he's in support of like gay marriage, um, all of his beliefs here stem from deeply rooted homophobia. He believes the gay predator myth. He believes that being gay is a choice when your sexuality is not a choice. He could test that out by trying to have sex with a man. If you don't enjoy it, then you disproved that it's not a choice and you can't change it. So, I mean, Joe Rogan, he, he, he said something in there that kind of stood out to me. You know, Gadsad said, you're going to get a lot of hate mail for this. And he said, I don't care. I don't read it. Well, maybe that's the problem, Joe. I mean, you don't have to read hate mail, but maybe remove yourself from the bubble that you're in. Actually talk to anyone who's gay. Maybe talk to somebody who is a leftist for a change. Talk to someone outside of your bubble. Talk to someone who isn't just going to affirm every bad opinion that you have. Talk to someone who's not going to be your yes man. But he won't. Because when you get rich, you kind of get insulated from criticism. And at some point, I don't know if it's when you hit like 50 million or 100 million, like you become like almost, you, you get this God complex in a way. And I'm kind of psychoanalyzing Joe Rogan to an extent, but like he doesn't allow criticism. And you can tell that his show has deteriorated as a result because now he just sounds like any elitist right wing pu uh, pundit. He's out of touch. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, but he thinks that he knows what he's talking about. And if you try to challenge him, then you're wrong. How dare you challenge Joe Rogan? I don't even listen to the criticism. So, I mean, okay, don't listen to the criticism, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to criticize you because what you're saying is wrong and it is homophobic. Tremendous, 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 tremendous